so I just got finished installing um, a brand new blower motor on my HVAC unit. Um, what was happening it was that while it was heating, the unit itself would uh, shut off and was giving um, 11 flashing red lights, which according to the schematic means that the blower motor is faulty. Um, the old motor was a it's a cheap Chinese ECM motor um, and uh, unfortunately when I try to open this ECM up to troubleshoot um, the circuitry uh, it was completely covered in silicone and so I was unable to um, test out any of the circuitry because there's a lot of good stuff online about um, troubleshooting the ECM motors um, particularly a, a uh, current limiting thermistor but Anyways, when, when these ECM motors fails, you have um, three options. You could replace just the module, replace the entire motor, or go to a PSC motor, which is a permanent split capacitor motor, um, which is essentially what I've done. Um, to do that, if you have a board that's equipped for an e ECM motor, which is like this one here and a lot of the newer HVAC units, you have to install a separate board um, which is called a quick swap x3 um, even though this looks like quite a complicated installation it's not you just have to take the wires that go directly into the ECM which are the common the live the ground and the neutral and plug that in onto the quick stop and also the 24 volt um, low voltage control into the ECM as well. Then from there you just wire in any blower motor onto the, the um, X3 board. Um, here I have a uh, just a general three speed motor that I found on uh, Amazon. Um, the X3 board itself is quick install. Um, it's just the wiring is quite simple, and uh, you just have to bolt it to the sheet metal here. And you see, I've got the split capacitor going down here, and I've got it zip tied over here. The board comes with a temperature sensor or a thermistor that has to be attached to. A evaporator coil on your AC unit. Um, I was lucky enough where I didn't have to make any holes um, because I ran it through the already existing wiring grommet onto the AC evaporator here. So I'm really happy with the quick stop quick swap X3 board and I was able to get the board and a new blower motor for around uh, two hundred and twenty dollars um, which is less than the cost of replacing this the module here so if you were to risk replacing the module on an old fan um, it's a less risky investment so this is what it looks like in action with the main board having the flashing called a heat sign the burners running here and the quick swap board lighting up green. So once you get it wired and mounted, it's not too bad of a project. It can save you a lot of money.